Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Duelist of the Roses Gemini playthrough with Machines. Um, today we're going to be going against Pegasus and then probably some more people. We're going to see how many people we can get through kind of quickly, because if not, we're going to probably just farm for a bit. Because, like, there is a very odd number of people left. I'm sure some people are going to hate that I made the AI go first against them on the second side. Ooh, that is... That is quite the hand. Oh, well, this thing's about to take a fourth power increase. And not one that it wants. Oh. Oh, man. That was good. Oh, and the Dharma Cannon. Perfect. Uh, that's a regular field. Well, hopefully this kills the face down card and not the thing that's permanently spellbound. Or Mirror Force. Mirror Force can happen too. I kind of wondered what order that was going to go in. If that ever exact situation ever occurred. Well, that is a fun fusion. Oh, hey, we got the face down this time. It wasn't a mirror force that triggered. This is probably a very dangerous way to play this. Oh. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Yeah? Well, this is awkward. Very, 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 very awkward. Well, I can blow up everything, I guess, if uh, he decides to kill my Blast Sphere. Or he can kill me. Oh, he just straight up killed me. I'll take that L. Okay, maybe we uh, won't be getting through everyone today. Probably won't be now. Or this is going to be a very long episode. Hmm, we shall see. It's honestly kind of what I wanted Pegasus to be like, so I'm glad. He's finally gotten to the place that I wanted him at. wonder if he's going to mirror force me again. <laughs> well, I guess we have a convenient answer to mirror force this time. Well, whatever his card is, it's dead. Oh, it was a mirror wall. This 
will be a lot easier without this this space right here covered, so go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, you can have my Dharma Cannon. Okay. Could have been worse. Okay, we're going to do this. Get rid of them. Oh. Okay. We can just get rid of it with this. Yes, half of, half of zero. Oh, well, we played a monster. <laughs> I knew instantly by where you played it. Um. Let's make it big. Good damage. Oh, joy. That's a soul hunter. Wait. Wait, it. Why did he move that? Uh, okay. I'm glad to see the AI is. The Papega is always. Now because we lost again, we can do a reincarnation. <sighs> oh, double B skull. Glad to not use either of those. I'm also really feeling my dinner right now, so... Shame if I'm a little slow. Here, let's just reincarnate this. I'll be right back with results. Okay, reincarnated a Beast Skull Dragon. Got ourselves a Heavy Storm. Um, I'm not going to use Heavy uh, Green Kappa. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but we do need to make two spots in our deck. Um, Mega Morph and a Curse Breaker? I need to put in Dharma Cannon, the second one. I guess I could have. Yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. I could have changed a Mechanical Spider into the Dharma Cannon or whatever. That would have been better, but whatever. We're fine. 
Um, next up is a Shizu, Miss Ishtar. She is probably not that annoying. If she could play as fast as we could with her AI, with any AI could play as fast um, as she should with that deck, she would be unbelievably terrifying. But she has no idea what she's doing, so... Uh, well, that's... There is a hand. He hasn't fused yet, which is a great sign. Also terrifying. Electric snakes plus thousand thousand on that. Oof. Hmm. Oh hey, my ancient tree. Oh, I have so many cards I want to just face up defense. Well, that's not a fusion, so that's good. I want the Wasteland right here more than I care about the Field Trange, so... Oh, she played a Mountain. Well, good thing that's on Wasteland Terrain. Oh, really good thing that's on Wasteland Terrain. Oh, that hurt. Um, hmm. Oh, I got a destiny draw. Well, that's game. Sometimes you get lucky. That Destiny Draw was more luck than anything. Hey, we got a mountain. Oh, and a Red-Eyes Black Metal. That I don't bother putting in my deck because I don't like playing six-star creatures. Wow. Okay, Weevil time. Um, you can make this slightly easier by um, putting in the password for eradicating aerosol if you need to. But by this point, I don't think you should have a problem. Like, yes, he is annoying. But like... Oh. Oh no. Well, um, I have to draw something to just outright kill that. So, um... Yeah. I'm gonna need, like, a Blast Sphere or something against that one, because, uh... That guy is a yikes. Um, hmm. Well, this is awkward. Well, this is probably the best thing to play since I'm... Man.
Oh, good. Well, good thing I can use defense because he didn't play his Gorgon's Eye yet. Because there's no world I'm getting over that Jiragamo. <laughs> Ain't no world that's ever happening. Okay, a second Furioku. Not great. <sighs> oh. Oh my. What did he put the Ririoku? Oh, he put the Ririoku on a Jowls. <laughs> okay. I am scared of just going in super ham, especially since he's not flipping his cards. Okay, none of the cards are spells. Okay. I just stay. Of course. Of course, Barrel Dragon. Why do you do this? Okay. Yeah, I can deal with those. He did just clear my board, though. I'm so glad to see man eater bugs, though. <laughs> There's something I can deal with. Oh, that- oh, I'm dead. Good night. <laughs> well, Weevil put me out of my misery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we are we are not making very good pace here. Both Pegasus and Weevil have uh, decided to play good cards. I mean, to be fair, there is not a bad card in Weevil's deck. The worst card is probably Maneater Bug. I don't know why I bother with the Cyber Commander, it's just going to get killed by my Barrel Dragon.
Ooh, double Chiraikamo. Oh, no Gorgon's Eye. Boom! So, um, place your bets, place your bets. Cyber Commander? Okay. Oh. We don't know. Just a Mirror Force. And that Diane Keto would have been real nice right now. Well, as long as that's not a Pugum, we're fine. <laughs> no, not okay. Bonk. My spider. Well, fortunately for me, that Arsenal Bug can't actually get over Dragomo, so. I said it can't get over Dragomo. Nice, Green Kappa, you're dead. Jiragamo <laughs> uh. is a ridiculously strong card. Um, we beat Weevil. It wasn't pretty, but we beat him. Well, um, we're definitely just going to have to make this into another episode after this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this reincarnation real quick. Uh...
Big trap will be fine. Just anything even remotely interesting. Sure, sounds great. I don't really want anything at this point. Um, if you saw that, I just did that with save states. Um, what I would recommend you do for all your reincarnations. Um, I'm just going to go do one quick duel against Keith here. Just to end out the episode. Maybe he'll play a mechanical chaser or something we can grab. Also, right after this, I'm going to go redesign Keith's field. Because I already changed it once. It just didn't stay changed for some reason, so I'll have to go track that down. It looks like my changes to him were saved, though, so... Uh... Honestly, the Labyrinth terrain probably helps me more than it hurts me. It's not me not drawing my darks, it's me not drawing my metal dragons, or vice versa. Huh? Why didn't... What? I'm very confused. Okay. Why did he have to play that like a trap? This probably is a trap. I should listen to my guts some days, but... Oh yeah, I have an ancient tree. What do I care? If it's a trap or not. Well, the only card I don't have three of in these slots is Ancient Tool. And so we got ourselves an Ancient Tool. Um, ancient Tool is available by Reincarnation, but I've been skipping over it. Um, that does give us one extra Reincarnation throughout this playthrough, so that's nice. Um, this is another creature that can be used for the fusion for Barrel Dragon, but I think we have enough and I'd rather use Mechanical Chasers than Ancient Tools, so I don't think it needs to go in the deck. So with all of that, thank you all for watching and have a nice day.